Let's talk about COD 2022 today because I don't really want to talk about Vanguard. I am going to be playing this game, but I don't really care to talk about it too much. I mean, what do we have going on? Secrets of the Pacific event. Look what you get. You get a picture, a picture, a picture, no picture, nothing, and then another picture. What is this? Wait, I've actually done almost all these? How? <laughs> oh, that's why I don't have the picture unlocked. <laughs> okay, it's actually showing in-game items. Wait, what do, I, what do I have to do? Vote for team MVP in 10 matches and then play matches with another member of your clan five times. Gotta get the clan together for some MLG game battles. But yeah, we're gonna play some Vanguard today. I don't even care what it is. It's nothing personal. It's nothing against Call of Duty Vanguard. And really, it's not even that bad of a game. I just kind of feel like talking about the next COD already. I know you guys are probably watching this and you're like, Eric, is it really that bad? Is COD Vanguard really so bad that we're already talking about the next Call of Duty game? I mean, we kind of were already. Before Vanguard's release, there was already leaks and rumors about the next Call of Duty game being Modern Warfare 2. 2022. Another soft reboot like Modern Warfare 2019, which is still so ridiculous. Like, why are we talking about this so early? How do we have information? So yeah, I thought it'd be pretty interesting to discuss because, you know, it's really strange that we got Modern Warfare 2 campaign remastered, but no multiplayer. It kind of begs the question, are we going to get Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer remastered next year? It's just really strange that there's rumors about Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer being remastered, but never being released. And then we end up getting leaks saying that in 2022, we're going to get Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> Who just snorted? This information has me worried because it makes me wonder, are we going to be getting another soft reboot game or will we finally get Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer remastered, which so many people have been dying to have and play? Or could it actually be possible that we're going to get both? You know, weirdly enough, I would not mind if we actually got both kinds of games. Kind of like how we got Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered comboed together. Like, that would actually be pretty neat. I don't know exactly how they would implement that because, you know, you'd have a brand new Modern Warfare 2 game and then also the remastered version of the original MW2 multiplayer. It's not to say that something like that would be impossible or that it can't be done. I mean, it totally could. And it probably wouldn't divide the player base up as much as Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered did because, you know, some people really liked Infinite Warfare. Myself included. But let's not kid ourselves. The same part of the Call of Duty community, they were the ones sticking on MWR. And I mean, personally, I thought it was a huge hit. I'm surprised we haven't gotten more games like this. I've talked about this idea for quite some time, and honestly, ever since Call of Duty Online got killed off, I think it's time. I think we need this. We need a game like COD Online for the entire world. Just period. Take all the best maps, guns, everything from all of the past Call of Duty games and mash it up into one amazing game that you can support for a long time. If that's not a good idea, I don't know what the fuck a good idea is. Just think about it for a second. Instead of continuing to get disappointed with the yearly releases of Call of Duty and continue to fragment the player base, we can get a brand new game that takes all of the best shit from the old games and also adds some new stuff as well and continue to update and support that game for what three to five years that's a game i would like to see next year i know it's not gonna happen there's no way in hell this is gonna happen what is wrong with me what was that was that a kill chain can't argue <laughs> Can't argue with a good shot. What did I get? Ultra. Oh, it wasn't even a kill chain. Scrub. But if an idea like that sounds too good to be true, it probably is. It's probably not going to happen. That was me. Momo, that was me. What time is it? You're fucking bedtime. <laughs> Vote blurry, handsome Squidward. Why is everyone blurry at the end? Everyone's bedtime. out of focus. Child. No, it's not bedtime. Here. That kid sounds so tired. I'm not tired. I'm just grinding Atomic Camel. I've been playing for the whole weekend nonstop. I don't know why it's so strange to me. Like, anytime this community has good ideas, it just feels like it never happens. Like, it... <laughs> It, doesn't, it just doesn't get listened to. It's like having a suggestion box, but instead of it being a suggestion box, it's a paper shredder. Also, I should have probably mentioned that my match... I should have probably mentioned that my mashup idea for the game should also be free to play. No more $60 to pay for the game kind of bullshit. We really need some serious change for Call of Duty. I've been saying this, like, Vanguard is actually a pretty decent Call of Duty game. Like, it's pretty enjoyable. How are the sales for the game? They're down pretty badly, and I don't know how much people actually want to watch Vanguard. It doesn't have as much appeal because everyone just wants to play free games. The whole reason why Warzone has taken off so much and why everyone's probably going to be excited for the new map update coming up soon is because it's free. Why did Fortnite blow up? It's a free game. Everything that's free fucking explodes. Every single year that there's a brand new $60 Call of Duty game, it continues to split the player base. It makes it harder for people to get into the newest one. I've... I've gammon bombed this guy twice. And his name is just a fun game. There's no way this dude's having fun. <laughs> Good lord. Ah. Whoever keeps throwing smoke, your mom's a hoe. <laughs> 
Whoever used fire rounds on the SDG, your mom's a hoe. I'm using fire rounds on an MP40. I have no shame. I don't know, man. I'm just kind of worried because Vanguard is basically a classic Call of Duty game. We've got old weapons back. We've got some classic maps coming back from World of War. Game chat is lit as fuck. But since not that many people are buying this game, I don't think they're really inclined to care to watch it. I don't know. I just kind of feel like everyone in the COD community should probably also consider this as well. I don't think we need to panic, but we should definitely be aware of the fact that, like, we don't know what the fuck is going on with Call of Duty anymore. Because if next year's Call of Duty game is either Modern Modern Warfare 2 2022 or Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer remastered and it doesn't do well, where do we go from here? Like seriously, what the hell do we do? Because if it doesn't turn out to be a massive success, I don't know what's going to happen to this franchise. In the cold, in the cold. What is, what, oh my, what is this? Camping? Next level. You know, a big reason why I thought Caught Online should have been made worldwide as well is because it is a big project. Like, it's a big idea. It's something that actually is very ambitious and innovative. It's something that's never been done before for Call of Duty and I think it could actually get people pretty hyped. Call it in. Can I run over my teammates with a Goliath in Hardcore? I don't even think I've tried to. Let's see. <laughs> it just moves them. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I maxed out my team kills. That's why. I don't know. I just want to see some actual change happen. I want to see something big happen for Call of Duty. If I'm not mistaken, if I go back and do like a history of Call of Duty video like I've done in the past, there's like 20 plus Call of Duty games to play and record. We should get something big and awesome for like, what, a 20 year anniversary of Call of Duty in like 2023? I can understand if this doesn't happen in 2022, but in 2023, I believe that's the 20 year anniversary of COD. They should really go big in 2023 if it's not going to happen next year. That's all I'm saying. Now, there's always that chance that with the Warzone map update, that could actually help improve the sales of Vanguard because people are going to want to play Vanguard to rank up the weapons really quickly on there. But we'll just have to wait and see if that's actually going to happen, man. I mean, like people might just only play Warzone to do all that shit because again, it's free, but Vanguard is $60. And I don't really feel like Vanguard is a $60 game. I mean, maybe more like 20 or 30. If you can get it on sale, that's great. Or if someone gives it to you. Zombies mode, don't even bother. I haven't finished the campaign. I mean, like, it's okay so far. And multiplayer is actually pretty good. We went from talking about the next COD to a mini review of Vanguard. Die, you fucking goofball. We won. We are the Vanguardians of the galaxy. What is this phase, dude? When you try your hardest to make a good Call of Duty game, but no one wants to buy it. But yeah, I'm definitely curious to hear from you guys. What do you want to see for Call of Duty 2022? Do you want to see a whole nother year of Modern Warfare 2019? Or do you want to see Modern Warfare 2 remold? I almost said remolstered. What the fuck is remolstered? Do you want a whole nother year of Modern Warfare 2019? Or do you want to actually see them remaster Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer, the original? It's possible we're going to get another year of a game running on the Modern Warfare engine. Oh. How the fuck am I... Oh, the flinch. It's just kind of weird, man, because I feel like we're running into the same problem that we had with the three years of EXO Call of Duty games. It's just like nothing really changes that much. You just end up getting too much of the same kind of game like year after year. Sledgehammer follows me. I mean, I could still hit them up and ask them for Advanced Warfare 2 if that's what you guys want. Oh my god, how can I even see with these kill streaks going on? What the? COD timing. Something with the car has actually been really fun. I've been enjoying that. Oh. I almost had a triple. Ah! <laughs> All right, half their team left. Neat. That'll make for a fun lobby. How are we not capping the flag when half their team is gone? Take B! I've been playing too much Battlefield, man. I expect everyone to play the objective. Which, speaking of Battlefield, I recently got to level 60. I unlocked the last sniper, and I've got some insane stuff to show you guys. I'm saving it for quad feet with every gun in Battlefield 2042, but yeah, it's been amazing, man. No spoilers, but your boy's almost done. I'm, like, so tempted to want to, like, make more videos on it and show you guys some of these clips, but I'm gonna wait. What is this stupid fucking kill streak that makes the game completely unplayable for everyone? Why does it exist? It just starts dropping bombs in for like a solid 30 seconds and you can't see or do anything. Dumb. Here goes Goku. Look at him go. Dude's running double STGs. No wonder they left. But yeah, even though this doesn't really have anything to do with Call of Duty 2022, I did happen to see this video from SM2. I think they showed off some more gameplay from the project they've been working on. I remember seeing, I think, the DSR from Black Ops 2 on Terminal from Modern Warfare 2 doing some S&D hitting like wall bangs and shit. Just let those guys make COD, man. Come on. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me talk about COD 2022 and play some Vanguard. If you guys did enjoy this video and you're excited for Vanguard Season 1 slash the new Warzone map slash COD 2022, make sure to drop a like, I'll see you guys later. We are taking the lead!